Welcome to the April 9th, 2018 Advance Report for McGowan Group Asset Management Clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman. Thank you for tuning in today. We're going to start with the chart of the S&P 500, the U.S. Blue Chip Index. You can see the rally is clearly over, and it appears to be in a trading range, validated this week by a return to the lows of February, and then a rally, then a little sell-off, back to about 24,000 on the Dow. But the S&P Index clearly indicates that trading range. How are earnings? There may be a surprise coming in the April earnings report. Let's take a look at that. This is the multiple of the S&P 500 index. Now, you would say it appears relatively high, about the same as the beginning of 2017, or a little bit lower. 20 times earnings would translate to a 5% earnings yield, and right now about a 2% dividend yield. Take that number down 30%. You could see the April earnings reports come in because of tax reform. Tax rate went from 35% down to 21%. That translates to a 30% reduction in the S&P 500 earnings. It could be that the earnings yield is actually closer to 7%. And of course, we'll report on that during the month of April. This is the FANGS index, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google. There's about 10 companies in this index. Clearly. This index was leading the charge during some of the sell-off that we experienced in the month of March. We had warned that technology stocks grossly overpriced compared to the rest of the market in many cases, and we're starting to see that normalize. The tech rally appears to be over, and we'll go more in depth in this weekend's program at NetworthRadio.com. All right, this is the pipeline index. You could see the end of the quarter sell-off and then a rebound this week. We're near the lows that were set back when oil was $27 a barrel, but oil's not $27. Oil's $63. The pipelines, by that measure, could be grossly underpriced, and if you look at the valuations, this could be one of the leading categories for dividend companies. Bitcoin, just for fun, you can see the high over 19,000 back there in December of 2017. Lots of people bought stuff they didn't understand, and that's always a warning signal. But you could see right here, this is just a steady sell-off this week, Bitcoin falling to 6,600. So the investors that got sucked in back here, and, and it's a cryptocurrency, but really they're saying, what, what in the heck do I own? And that's going to be a story that plays out in the other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Ripple. We'll report on that in more detail as this correction in cryptocurrency unfolds. I'm Spencer McGowan, NetworthRadio.com, President, McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back next week with another update from your financial weatherman. My firm, McGowan Group Asset Management, sponsors NetworthRadio.com and, of course, our YouTube channel under McGowan Group. Some educational disclosures and discussions that I wanted to add to the broadcast. The first is, I'm very proud of our team, including Stephen Norris, who will be added as soon as we redo the picture. He's our newest team member. Come down, meet the team that cares, get a written plan, because the securities we discuss, the financial news we discuss, that's not a recommendation until you actually come down and get a customized plan at the Crescent. You'll get a tour, and we look forward to seeing you. We're going to cover value at risk of loss in portfolios, and you can see it right here. Learn about our performance, what happened in 2008, how long did it take to recover. All of those items are posted right here at networthradio.com or the mcgowangroup.com. The other part of the program, when we look at price fluctuations and bear markets and risk control, that's a huge part of networthradio.com. We look forward to helping you advance your plan and your cash flow. Come down and meet the team that cares.